In this video, I'm going to show you how to take this heart and create a split in it so that it looks like it's broken. So first we'll start with the original image and we'll go up to layers and we'll want to make two duplicates. So click on here and then right click duplicate layer and then create a second duplicate layer. And now we want to rename the first layer. So we'll call this whole heart. So right click and choose rename. And then we'll call this the broken heart. and then turn off your original background layer. And also turn off your whole heart layer because we're gonna work on the broken heart first. So the first thing we wanna do is split the heart. So let's zoom into it. And then we wanna go up to the select area tool and then choose the rectangle and then just come over here and put your cursor to about the middle of the heart. And then just click and drag to create a rectangle. And don't worry that you're not getting the top of the heart because we're going to fix that in a second. So once you let go, come over here and choose the Smart Brush selection. And then just click and drag up towards the edge so that it automatically detects it. You might have to go over some areas. To fix this little part here, it selected a little too much, hold down the Option key and then just click and drag and it'll push it back. Oops, that's too much. And then again, over here, hold down the Option key and just click and drag so that it can find that edge. And I'm still holding the Option key and just dragging. You might have to resize your mouse or cursor a couple of times. To get real close there. And that did a pretty good job. So the next thing we want to do is move it over. So we're going to click the pick and move tool. And then we're just going to grab onto that and move it over a bit to create the break. And then we're going to rotate it a little bit. Like this. And click the check mark to accept it. And then to deselect the area, hold down the command key and the D key, so Command D to unselect it. Then the next thing that we want to do is we need to add a black background because we can see the transparency behind here and we don't want that. So come up here and add a new layer and add an empty layer. And then come up here to the Fill tool and it, I do want the black, it automatically defaulted to black, but if it doesn't for you, click onto it and just come over and choose the black. And then just click onto the layer. 
and make sure you're on that layer. Make sure you haven't accidentally come onto one of these layers. So just click onto that. And now we want to move this layer underneath the broken heart layer. Just like that. So that looks good. And if you want to change the opacity a little bit, we could do that too. It's not, so that it's not quite so black. And that looks good. So now we're going to merge these two layers. So hold down the command key and click both of those layers and then right click and then merge those layers. Now that one's done. The next thing we're going to do is add some text. So just while you're on that broken heart layer, come up here to the text tool and then just click down here and just start typing. And it defaulted to the font size of 80. So I'm just going to accept that and start typing. And let's just make this text box a little bit bigger. And click right here to add a space so that we have the text equally on either side. And then just move your cur cursor around so that it turns to a hand and then just drag it to where you want it to be. And then click the check mark to accept it. And that looks good. So now we're going to merge these two layers. So click on the text layer while holding down the command key. Choose the broken heart layer. Right click and merge those layers. Now let's turn that layer off and turn our whole heart layer on and we're going to add the text to the whole heart layer. So with your text tool selected, let's click down here and let's extend our text box and we want to keep the same font size which was a custom font size, so just type 80 and then just start typing. And click the checkbox to accept it and move it to where you want it to be. And click the checkbox to accept it. And now we're going to merge the whole heart with the text above. So click onto that layer, click and drag it to underneath the text we just created. And holding down the command key, click on both of those. And we're going to merge those layers. So, ooh. We're going to have to rename the layers again. So let's call this broken heart. So right click. And right click. Rename. Pull. So there's our whole heart and our broken heart. So the next thing we're going to do is shrink the broken heart so that it's in the upper left hand corner. So let's zoom back out and choose the, make sure we're on that layer, and choose the pick and move tool. And just come down here and grab the corner and resize it to the size you want it to be. You can make it bigger and move it off the canvas a little bit. And rotate it. And choose the check mark. 
Let's move that up a little bit. And then turn on this layer. And again, with the pick and move tool, it's already selected, so I didn't have to click it again. Come down here and resize. Oops, we want this bigger. Make it a little bit bigger. Like this. And that looks good. So the next thing we want to do is come back down on the broken heart layer and put it in the corner. We have to move it so that it's on top. Like that. And now we need to erase these edges. So come up here to the eraser tool. And you want to make sure you're on the brush and keep your opacity pretty low. Let's try that. And just start erasing those edges to reveal the layer underneath. So you might have to go over it a few times. Let's make our opacity a little bit a little bit stronger there. Or not as strong, I should say. So let's play with our opacity here a little bit. So you don't want any hard edges. And if you want to see what that looks like, what that layer looks like underneath, just turn the whole heart layer off. And there you can see where we've erased it. And if you want to do more, you can, but I think that looks good, what we have here. Let's clean it up a little bit down here. Make it not so obvious. Well, yeah, I think that looks good. So that's it. I hope you like this video.